What's up guys, Sean here. So we're back at the ballpark. I haven't been here in a while and I'm super excited to do a video for you. We are three, four days, wait. Yeah, we're four days away from camp. And so this is the week where I've got to test all my new gear that I've purchased recently. Um, this is all gear that I'm going to use at camp to record um, a bunch of youth. So there's middle schoolers, there's high schoolers just having fun all week, doing ropes courses. I'm just going to be outside for a week just getting all sweaty, um, taking a lot of cool footage. Um, and it's one of those, those projects that I do, guys, that I can't get anything wrong. You know what I mean? Like, there are just a bunch of kids having a bunch of fun, and I'm just pointing my camera at it, and whatever I point my camera at is gonna be awesome. So, one of the things I wanted to do this year, last year I used my drone um, in some areas, but because, um, because you can't fly over people, you can't fly near people, I kinda used it as, I kinda kept a safe distance with my drone. Um, but this year, we have, the viral cam light and I'm super excited about this um, I'll read some of the specs it's got a quick setup it's got a standard mount battery life about three hours um, you can use this in no fly zones so if you have like a national park or you're in a city somewhere that you can't use your drone but you still want to get a fly through shot um, this is something that you could use okay now you can't you gotta be like Spider-Man to get it from one building to another building. But there's areas where you're in like a city park or something like that where a lot of people are, you know, there's signs at a lot of parks that say you can't fly your drone here. But it doesn't say anything about a, a wired cam. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, you can get close to the action. It's got a time-lapse mode. Um, so you can do like a, like a time-lapse, you know, really, really slow from one um, one side to the other um, it's got a it's got foldable arms so it's really compact I'll show that to you in a minute um, you can put like bumpers on the side so um, it'll it'll knock it off of the wire and it'll just hang there before it slams into a tree um, but yeah super lightweight it's got a little remote control that you can turn and go this way or you can go that way so you can go back and forth I don't know if you guys have ever seen like a like a football game or a sport sporting event where they have a wire going across the field and a cameraman can't run onto the field and um, zoom cameras um, you know those are pretty hard to follow the action so what people do is they have wire um, cameras on wires that will go across the field that's essentially what this is but it's a small version um, and the maximum weight is 3.3 pounds but the camera that I'm recording on right now, um, my huge Canon 4K beautiful camcorder weighs only like a pound and a half. So I can put that big old camera on this guy. Um, I don't know that I'm going to do that, but um, I do have a couple smaller camcorders that I'm going to try. But this week um, we are going to, at camp, I'm going to use the DJ Osmo Action, I'm going to use the GoPro Hero 7 Black, and I'm going to use the Insta360 ONE X, and possibly the Insta360 Evo. I might do some VR. I think VR is going to be pretty cool, because I can, I can go slowly, like really slow, through um, a bunch of trees and stuff, and I think in VR, I think that'll be really cool. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. Um, I'm not going to do a proper unboxing with this just because um, I want to get it out of the box and I want to try it and I'm in the middle of moving between my um, current, well my old residence now and um, a new house. I'm getting a new studio but it's not set up yet and I really just want to get this thing out and play with it and so my process is a little messed up right now but I think it's going to be cool guys. Um, and I have these two trees behind me. So I'm going to set the tripod up over there and I'm just going to set it up between these two trees and show you how I can go back and forth. And then after I do that, I'm going to set up a really long shot. Um, let's see how many does it say? Well, it doesn't say how much 
cable I have, I think, I'm pretty sure I have 150 feet of cable in here, but I'm not, not positive in that. Um, but I think it was like, I think it was like 30 meters. Um, and, and the cable in this one's yellow, but you can buy it black so that it's um, more invisible. But um, for now, I'm gonna be doing it around a bunch of kids, so I'd rather that cord be yellow so a kid doesn't hit it. Um, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna take a step ladder with me and put all the wires, you know, at least, um, you know, maybe eight feet up in the air, so hopefully no kid will hit them. But, um, but I, I wanna put them up high. But the other plan is to find the same um, thickness of cable that this uses and buy a bunch of cable in bulk. And then the day before camp starts, I'm gonna go down, well, not the day before, but the morning, I'm gonna go there early and set up a bunch of wires across camp. And in the, in the chapel where we have service, it's gonna go back and forth. So there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff. But, and if I get all those wires hooked up all around campus, then I can just take this wire cam with me, slap it on, move it over, get a couple B-roll shots of kids having fun. You know, it'll be, it'll be cool. So, let's get it out of the box, guys. This is gonna blow away. Now it's not gonna blow away. All right, so the first thing we got is we've got the wire roll cam. Um, and it has these two legs that fold out and it's got this little pin that you put the wire in here first and close that pin. And then if this ever falls off, that pin is gonna hold your camera. It's probably gonna just wobble around like that. But this is the safety pin. That's the most important part. So the wire goes through here and then it goes under these wheels. And in here, it's got a brushless motor just like your drones. Um, for the propellers um, it's got a brushless motor in here that will basically just go back and forth on the bottom it's got a quarter 20 and that's it for that this is the remote control um, you've got a start and end point so if you've ever um, if you ever edit video and you want to put like a uh, beginning point and an end point um, that's essentially what this does so you put your um, wire roll cam on the wire and you take it to the first point and you push this button and then you take it to the next point and you push this button and then it won't go further now if you go if you put it in sport mode um, there's a good chance um, you know it might need to slow down a little bit but I don't know if the slow, slow down capabilities is built in or not, but we'll see, all right? And what I like about it is color coded. So th this end point is white and this direction is white. This end point is yellow and this direction is yellow. So when you're, going, when you're toggling back and forth, you'll be able to see which direction you're going in um, and figure out, you know, get your orientation pretty quick. Because if you set it up and then you go on one, if you set it up on one side and then you go on the other side, all of a sudden your head's all screwed up because you're, well, you put it in the wrong direction. Well, those those color codes will help you figure out which direction you're going. Okay. Um, and the only other thing that we're going to use today is the cable. So we've got some instructions that we'll read later, <laughs> and we've got this wiring system. So this is kind of like a kite. Um, this is the strap that you use to tighten everything with. This is a ball head. And these are the bumpers. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take everything out of its little baggie. Um, I so this is what the bumper looks like. And what this bumper is designed to do is when the wire roll cam hits it, it's supposed to knock the wire roll cam off. Um, and it's a safety thing. So you wanna put the bumpers after your stop point, just in case it doesn't stop exactly where you told it to. And we'll see how sensitive it is. But guys, I have a unique Typhoon H Plus, 
and that thing goes up to 40 miles an hour. So if I'm going 40 miles an hour and I pull my fingers off the trigger, it takes a little bit to slow down. So if I tried to stop at that building over there, um, I would need to start stopping way over here so that it has time to slow down. Just like your car. You know, when you hit the brakes on your car, it doesn't stop immediately. Um, depending on how fast you're going, it takes some time to slow down. Um, so yeah. Ooh, nice ball joint. This is all metal. That's a beautiful piece of... That's really nice. I like that. All right. We're getting ants. Oh! I don't like ants, guys. Um, we're going to take this out of its bag. Something that I didn't get was a bag. Like, it didn't come with a, a case for me. I saw a lot of people review it and it came with a case. So that might have been, like, um, pre-release... Uh, you're a creator on YouTube that has a lot of subscribers please here's a free product and you do it on your channel that might be what those things are um, this was the kit that I bought at B&H so if you're gonna buy it on B&H this is what you're gonna get um, all right a um, couple other things um, I haven't read the instructions yet but there is this is the battery that comes with it and it's a lot like an old drone battery or an RC car battery um, so what you have to do is you have to plug it in when you use it. Um, so, and then a lot of my old drones, um, you would have to unplug the battery to get it to, to stop working. So that's just what I've been doing. Um, just because I, I haven't read the instructions and there might be like a double tap or something like that, that officially turns it off. But but yeah, so that's that. The only other thing we got to do is this takes double AAA batteries. So I went to the store and I bought some AAA batteries. And I'm going to install those right now. It takes two. It takes two, baby. It takes two, baby. Ugh, excuse me. Got a little phlegm in there. All right. So there it is. Got the remote working. I don't know if you have to turn it on or not. Oh, I hit the mode button and it turned on. All right. So, like I said, I never like to read the instructions. So, and one of the reasons I don't like to read the instructions is because I want to see if it's easy enough for you guys to figure out. So, like Everyday Dad says, if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. That's kind of my motto as well. Um, but I don't say it because he took it. Um, but, yeah, I like to just try things and see if the user experience is intuitive or not. All right? So we got this little ball joint, which is cool. You can put your camera that way um, all right so you want to tighten it down clamp it and then when you loosen this you can spin both of these parts that's cool all right let's get the DJI Osmo action let's get it on there I feel like an ant just bit me on my toe I feel like an ant just crawled up in my shoe and bit my toe all right now in order to use the DJ Osmo action you need um, you need an adapter that converts it to a quarter 20 and I want to apologize for my sweat guys but it is it's 94 degrees out right now and probably a hundred and something degrees in the Sun I started this in the shade and I think I'm still in the shade but we'll see guys you're not here to look at me are you <laughs> ladies um if you are here to look at me i'm a happily married man with two kids that i love dearly so there's no chance all right so we got the osmo action on there 
we need to clamp this down for now just so we have we can tighten all right all right so I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna point the camera at me And a good way to level things, guys, if you just hold it level yourself and let gravity take its course, that's a good way to get, get things pretty level. At least that's my trick, and I'm sticking to it. All right, let's move the camera over there and put this thing on the cable. All right, guys, so I have this shot set up so you can see the tree over there and you can see the tree over there. All my stuff is laid out, and I'm just gonna show you how I put it together, guys. Um, again, I've never done this before, so I might mess up, but yeah, um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to attach the cable on the spindle to one, one tree, and then we're going to unspool it over to the other tree and use a strap to tie it on, okay? Guys, so I don't know if you can even see me, but we got the DJI Osmo action camera. We're gonna see if this works. Oh, guys, check it! All right, so I'm gonna put it to this point. And I'm gonna make it stop about here. All right. I'm gonna come up. Oh. Oh guys, I'm so happy. This is fun. All right, and then we're gonna put that about there. All right guys, so since we got this ball joint on here, we can simply turn it and do that with it. And I don't even have to take it off the cord. And all of a sudden, I'm looking in a completely different direction. Okay guys, and the only other shot that I wanna do Oh, there's a couple other shots. So I could point it at the tree. Now with it being, having a yellow wire, this might not be a good shot. Um, but if you point it down a little bit, you won't see the wire. But, and it's wobbling. Let's get that wobble out. Whoa, it's really wobbling, guys. But, the DJI Osmo Action has some good stabilization, so hopefully it's taking a lot of that wobble out. All right. Now the last shot that I want to show you guys, we're going to do this again. We're going to put this around. Straight down, guys. And the reason I'm doing a straight down is because I like to fly drones and this is one of the shots that I do. All right guys, that's all we're gonna do here. I'm gonna set up a really long shot
Alright guys, that was the viral light. Hope you guys like this video. Please like, subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell for notifications when I put out more videos like this and other robotic cameras. Um, so yeah, hope you have a wonderful day and peace out guys.